God is at work all around us. And he invites us to join him where he's working. But when that invitation goes out, we have a crisis of faith. Because God invites us to join him in the dangerous places. When we get that invitation, we realize, whoa, God is calling me to do something that I, I'm not capable of doing. I'm going to need to rely on him for a miracle. Now I need faith. I need to react in faith. Today we have a, a small group of young adults going up to New York City on a mission trip. And I, I got to thinking about a crisis of faith that my family and I experienced. been about... 20 years or so. But we were going through life. Everything was wonderful. We were serving here at the church, lived close by, had two young kids, and God called us to do something unusual. There was a disruption. God called us to leave for a period of time and go up to New York City and help plant a church there. And at the time, this was shortly after the attacks of September 11th, 2001, when terrorists took down the World Trade Towers, attacked the World Financial Center. The city was uh, traumatized. The city uh, needed help, and they got help in different forms, but they weren't getting a lot of spiritual help. There weren't very many Christian churches in Manhattan at that time, and certainly not in the neighborhood where this happened, and we felt called to go and be a part of a church plant at that time. Couldn't deny it, but we experienced a crisis of faith. We were going to have to make major adjustments. We were going to have to leave here. We were going to have to sell our house. And then one thing we realized is that it's very expensive to live and serve in New York City. It's very expensive to uh, to actually move and pay rent there, especially in the world financial area where we wanted to serve. And so we got it figured out that for two years of serving in New York City, it was going to cost us about $200,000. And not only that, but the time frame that we needed to be in New York City to be there for a crucial part of this church plant it was about three months, and we had zero dollars, and we had zero experience raising funds, and so we started to pray for a miracle. One of the things I did is I, I visited with, with uh, missions pastors, I visited with uh, missionary boards, and they were super excited, but things would always kind of take a turn for the worse when they would say, how much money do you need? And and when do you need it? And I would say, I need $200,000 in three months. And they would look at me like I had lost my mind. And I would wonder if I had lost my mind. But I could not deny that this was something that God had called us to do. Honestly, I didn't even necessarily want to do it. But I knew that God had called me to do it. So we continued to pray for miracles. And then something began to happen people began to offer us support. It's very humbling. Our church turned us into missionaries and they gave us a, a, a missionary support like they do all our other missionaries. Some of you came alongside us and offered to support us. And then, amazingly, people we'd never even met before somehow got in touch with us. And they wanted to help plant this church in lower Manhattan shortly after the attacks on the World Trade Towers. But they personally didn't want to go. They just wanted to help us. And so three months later, we were in New York City with $200,000 of support. Yeah, praise God for that miracle. We were able to experience that miracle, and, and I don't have time to tell you miracle after miracle after miracle that happened during our two years there. The church uh, multiplied by three times its size during the time we were there. 
it's still there, it's still growing and thriving and impacting that community. And I'm so thankful that we were able to experience those miracles.